Okay, so this is my second time trying to record this video, so I'm not even gonna put my intro in it. But this video is talking about being an INFJ empath male, right? So, I've always been the type of person who, you know, studies myself, try to work on myself, try to become a better version of myself. And so, let's talk about it. As an INFJ, you read people a lot. Like, I read people. Sometimes I make McDonald's and Walmart or whatever the case may be, and I'll be reading people. You can kind of tell what they're thinking. Sometimes you're always not right, whatever the case may be. But most of the time, you can read people's energy. And the thing is with me, like, even at my job, I noticed the other day, like, or just in general, people fall in love with having conversations with me. Not to toot my own horn, but it's true because I have, like, two sides and not two sides but like i have a this part where they think i'm going deep and then this is really my deep side so a lot of people feel like they know me or they connected with me but they just connected with me giving them like to be honest as an infj you can have a conversation with somebody and they think that y'all got so deep but you really didn't care about the conversation honestly you just you care about, you can read what they need within the conversation. You can read it and you can tell that they either need you to say this or they need you, whatever the case may be. Like you, you, you're very supportive within conversation. You feel like that's a deep connection, but that's just, <coughs> excuse me. That's just your first barrier. <coughs> I'm about to die. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Another thing I was noticing. So I dated a narcissist. I, I've had friends with personality disorders, um, borderline personality disorder, whatever the case may be, um, CPTSD. I've, I've had CPTSD. I've had a narcissist parent. I'm a scapegoat of a narcissistic family. And the one thing I've been noticing as I've been studying too is, is levels to everything because you got people with personality, personality disorders that are narcissists or borderline histrionics or whatever the case may be that they've developed a personality disorder because of just genetics. And then you have people who develop a personality disorder from actual childhood trauma, right? But in general, everything is on a spectrum, not only narcissism or borderline personality disorder, everything is on a spectrum, even childhood trauma, those with childhood trauma. Because listen, you can have an INFJ that is a borderline personality disorder. Then you can have an INFJ that just has trauma. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, but the thing is, you can have a INF, you can, just put it this way, you can have a, an empath, a borderline, and uh, just somebody with, with severe trauma, CPTSD, and they all look the same. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, a lot of these issues, if you, Coming from the childhood trauma side, nine times out of ten. No, if you're coming from the other side too, they they appear the same. Like somebody with CPTSD um, can come off like a borderline personality disorder individual. You feel what I'm saying? And um, that's just something that I was realizing, like doing my research and also talking to different people, having different type of friends and stuff. But then you can also have a borderline who also has CPTSD. You can also have an empath who. Has, you know what I'm saying? Is it have narcissistic traits who has to heal those because their parent was a narcissist, you know what I'm saying? So that's the one thing that I noticed. But another thing, like in being an INFJ empath, um, well, for years and years, I always knew that I was more, it was evident that I was more empathetic than the people around me because not only did I have friends with personality disorders and borderline and being narcissists and stuff like that. I have it within my family because I'm a narcissistic family scapegoat. Um, and I've been to therapy. I got blessed enough to not develop a personality disorder. I had a lot of um, things that I had to work on. Um, but I've had people around me, friends, family, um, co-workers that have, have, have been narcissists have been borderlines, have been, but and then they, 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 attract, they attract to me because of the type of individual I am, because I'm an empath, because 
I've had things that I have to work on in regards to my boundaries or just the people pleasing sometimes. But that, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weird too because I went through a phase where I'm like, I used to be like a don't do that shit around me type person. I used to say that to my friends. And then I think because I love my mom, mother, who's a narcissist so much, I started to cater to what I thought she wanted because I thought she was the, the hierarchy, which everybody did in my narcissistic family. So as an INFJ, I feel like I, I, I kind of molded to what she wanted, not only because she was my mother, but because I'm an INFJ. And... Over time, it kind of made me miserable, and I think that added to my depression. And, um, yeah, I was thinking, I was at Walmart the other day, and I was walking around thinking, like, this is random, but I don't really like small talk, but I'm very good at small talk because of, I think, because of the type of person I am. But I love deep conversation. It was a joke about this in regards to being an INFJ, and they were saying, like, INFJs go from, like, surface level conversation to something deep like we can see the mailman and be like yo how was your day yeah your day was good that's good yeah um you know it's a meteor it's a meteor about to crash down and saturn is going to go dance with pluto like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we can really go from zero to 100 in a conversation because we're deep thinkers we're 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 very um uh we're very we're deep you know what I'm saying? We love deep conversations. We love, but I was about to think of another thing. Um, I don't want the video to cut off because last time I did. But, um, yeah. So, being an INFJ empath, I completely forgot what I was about to say. But I know I'm all over the place with this video. But being an INFJ empath male is a different breed. And before my, before, so before I dated the narcissist, I didn't really do relationships because I want to avoid them. I don't know if it was because... I come from a narcissistic family and that has something to do with it. Or if it was because of being an INFJ, because like if you do the research, it's hard for INFJs to, 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 to match with other people or personalities, you know? And it's not hard for us to match with other people because we can easily mold with another individual, but eventually it won't become conducive for us. We have to learn to 100% have boundaries. We have to learn to 100%, you know, get to know people. Now, it says... We fall in love a lot, that's what's said online, which I'm a lover, um, but we don't do it super quickly, you know what I'm saying? Unless we date somebody who's like that, like a narcissist or a borderline, they typically go super fast, you know, trauma bond you in and stuff like that. But yeah, if anybody has a perspective on in regards to being an INFJ, comment below. Um, tell me your experience or if you have a perspective on being an empath. Because I'm a high NFJ empath. Um, or if you've dealt with being a, or if you are a borderline personality disorder individual and you're high NFJ, or if you're, or if you have severe CPTSD, complex post traumatic stress disorder, um, if you're a narcissist, um, I would advise you to not stay on my channel. It's like, <laughs> I know this is a YouTuber and he talked about narcissism and he's like, uh, if you're a narcissist, get off my channel. <laughs> That's what I was mocking. But, um, no, I'm spreading love to everybody. Just don't come near me. You feel me? I got the Bible right here. Make sure more videos. But, uh, it's your boy Josh, different mom, body, and soul. I'm different, you different, we different. We all different, you feel what I'm saying? As I've been doing my research, I realize how complex human beings are, and everything is on the spectrum. Narcissism, borderlines, histrionics, childhood trauma, whatever the case may be. So much stuff is on the spectrum. Even being an INFJ, we all different. We, we have the same qualities. We have the same, you know, attributes and stuff like that, but all INFJs probably have their own specific personality disorder. So that's one, my one takeaway from just life in general. Now I realize how complex human beings are. We all different. I'm different. You different. We different. Subscribe to you.